Yeah, yeah, what's up, baby? All right, so let's do this really quick. I was going to go live, y'all, but I am fucking tired. So I'm not going live today. I'm just going to do a video and recap for tomorrow because holy shit, what an exciting day. Um, three tickers, and we're going to go over my poll to see which one the majority of my people are investing in. The three tickers are MAIA. She's in third, if you ask me. G-E-T-Y is fighting first and second with MGAM. Okay. The IPO attack club, baby. That's what this is all about, man. It's where all the momentum's coming from. It's where all the attention's coming from. And we have to choose one or you can choose three. But here's typically if you don't know what to do, this is what you do. Pre-market, you're going to be eyeballing all three of those, okay? And whichever one seems to be getting the majority of the attention, whichever one might be ripping, it's already green. Look at the green candles, man. Look at this bad boy. She's up 30%. Uh, MAIA might only be up 4%. Uh, Getty might be up 15%. Well, if MGAM is up 30% or higher pre-market, that means when the market opens, she's going to fucking explode. That's just called playing a momentum play. That's it. You're just going to ride the momentum in and out. So if you don't know what to do, that's typically what a lot of investors do is they just ride that momentum. Now, you guys saw that poll that I did yesterday, like 700 people voted. Man, Bernie's going crazy in the aquarium right now. Dude, he's just fucking pissed off. I don't know what he's pissed off at, but anyway, I did uh, the MGAM. I put all three tickers, MAIA and Getty. I said, out of all of my investors, which one y'all going to hit pre-market? Uh, 700 of you answered. 75% of you, no, it's up to 76% right now, said M-G-A-M will be the one they pounce on. Reason being, it's a 1,500,000 share float. That's called a micro float. It's tiny. There's no options, and it's got a ton of attention, and she was trending up upon close Friday. All phenomenal signs. You can get in and out really quick. Watch pre-market. If she's the one blowing up, guess what, guys? Half the fucking market is going to navigate towards that ticker. So you got a chance to make a shit ton of money. At the same time, you got a chance to lose a shit ton of money if you don't know what you're doing. So you might want to trade really light because these are the most dangerous stocks in the market. They leave the most amount of bag holders. And that's because people don't know when to get out. Okay? You can't have the hold forever mentality, which if you accidentally did, look what happened to HKD. Went from... Uh, $13 to $485 in two weeks. Same thing, micro float, a lot of people pouncing on it. It's a garbage stock. Nobody cares about the company. It's just a ton of people stockpiling into one ticker to drive that price through the freaking roof, okay? And it worked. And now there's three more on the radar. I gave you the three that are on the radar. Choose wisely, all right? I do the same thing. I might have my mind up that it's MGAM early in the morning, but then when I see which one is trending harder, faster, and has the majority of the attention, that would be the one that I pounce on. Now, if I do see one trailing behind it by just a, a few percent under, I'll pounce on that one too. I'm going to end up playing two of them. All right, just an example. In and out. I don't have to hold for no two weeks. I can make my money tomorrow and not risk nothing. I'm out of there by like noon Okay, just an example. I'm going live tomorrow. We're doing this shit together live. I'm going to be at the gym at 5 a.m. to train. Then I'm going to go live, and we're going to ride this fucking shit out until we bank. All right? I'll walk you guys through whatever we got to do to make sure everybody's safe tomorrow on playing these IPOs. Y'all have an awesome fucking night. Doge Warrior out. Till tomorrow, I'm up at 3 fucking a.m. doing this shit, guys. Tomorrow, 3 a.m. Y'all sleep well. Shaboom! Peace!